Hey, look, I only got the world record, but oh, what's the score? Okay, first of all, if you're not familiar, this top digit here increments above 9, 10 is A, 11 is B, and so on, so 1 million, right? No. The score resets to 0 every time it hits 1,600,000. So let's add those resets in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Cool, we've got a score of 9 million. That's a big number. What does it say when he goes to the high score screen? That would be 8.9 million. That is the correct score, by the way. You may have noticed that it reset to 100,000 instead of 0,000 back here. Let me tell you what happened. Okay, so Andy is not playing on the original version of the game. This is Tetris Gym, a ROM hack that the community well, mostly Kiryav made in order to allow players to easily switch between Ulster's different practice modes and has several quality of life improvements. One of those improvements is a reworked score display system, Jim having several different options for how scores display, but the one that we care about is classic mode. In this mode, we replicate the behavior we used to get from playing with the game genie code NNAOOK. In the original game, the score is stored in three bytes, and at the end of every calculation, the top byte is compared to A0 to see if it needs to write 999999 into the score. The game genie code NNAOOK changes it to compare to FF, which is impossible for the game to reach since whenever the bottom digit of the byte is an A, the code adds 6 to increment the upper digit and reset the lower digit to 0, so we never see an F there. What happens when you add 6 to FA, you get 0, 0 because 250 plus 6 equals 256, and a byte ranges only 0 to 255. Okay, so we're replicating a scoring system where it resets every time you cross 1.6 million. What's going wrong? So Jim is not keeping track of score in the way the original game did. We're doing math with 3 bytes of binary instead of BCD, which is short for binary binary coded decimal. This splits a byte into two sets of four bits, each representing one decimal digit. Doing calculations in BCD is inefficient to the degree that the original game eventually crashes due to that inefficiency, but we also do need to keep track of the decimal representation for the purposes of displaying it on screen. So Kiryava has a set of four bytes of BCD that are set at the end of every score calculation to the correct representation of the score. That's what we eventually saw on the high score screen. Problem is, the absolute eight digit representation of the score needs some further manipulation before it does that whole resetting at 1.6 deal, so Kiryava wrote some code to handle it. To figure out what to put in the 100,000 digit, we need to figure out how many 100,000s of score we have. So let's get that number. We need to add 1 times the 100,000 digit, 10 times the millionth digit, and 100 times the 10 millionth digit. We'll use a temporary variable for this. The 100,000 digit is the top four bits of the third byte of the score, so to get it, we need to bit shift that byte of the score right four times to get rid of the bottom half, which is the 10,000th digit. Save that to the temporary variable. So now let's get the millionth digit, that's the bottom half of the fourth byte, which we can get by masking away the top four bits, nice and simple. Just multiply it by 10, which we'll do with a table, and add it to the counter. Now let's get the 10 millionth digit. We'll do the same thing we did for the 100,000s. Multiply that by 100, and we're home free, right? No. Most of the time this works, but there is one crucial detail that was overlooked, the carry. In 6502 assembly, the only type of addition you can do is add with carry. What this means is that the processor internally tracks whether the previous addition needed to carry a 1 into the next byte, and if it did, it'll add an extra 1 to whatever addition it does next. For instance, in that FA plus 6 calculation we did earlier, the carry would be set since we overflowed to 0. Importantly, that carry flag is not only set by additions, but by other operations, one of those being the bit shift write command. Whatever bit was shifted out of the number will be put into the carry. The first time we did this, we ran the command clear carry before doing our addition to make sure whatever was in the 10,000th place was totally gone. But the second time, when we got the 10 millionth digit, that command was missing. So, the last bit that was shifted out of the top byte of the square will be added to our count of 100,000s. This is the top bit of the millionth digit, which is normally zero, but if you have eight or nine million, it will be one. So, when Jim calculates what goes into your 100,000th digit on classic mode, if you're anywhere between eight million and 10 million, that score will be 100,000 above what it should be. This bug was patched only 30 minutes after Andy set the world record. Shoutouts to Andrew and Wu for his lightning speed pull request.